we've been blessed back to back beautiful days you already know when we have some sun some calm winds it's a grilling sesh so kick back relax and just hang out with me while I grill some meats bigger than my head like look at this absolute giant since I have a massive piece like this I'm just gonna be cooking up all in one we'll cook this indirect and I've just been really enjoying just cooking massive pieces of meat eh? or just grilling meats in general charcoal meats bro I'm loving it I hope you guys are too because the warm weather is just starting and bro I already know I'm gonna be thrashing the hell out of my grill so I'll show you how to prep this come down have a little peep I'm gonna start with some oil nice generous amount Roman Q blackout seasoning this stuff is so good I've only used this like a couple times before because I just always go for my salt and pepper but we're gonna try something different today and we're really gonna pack it on both sides generous what's the time now quarter two so I'll probably leave it for an hour at room temp or just infuse it'll go deeper within the meat got a couple gummies as well they've come down in price they're not 15 dollars a kg no more those on the coals oh so good south island put it on a show for us the other island the ocean and the sun bram stoke it's a bit of a northerly today it's absolute pristine wind grilling session bro we're just gonna have a mean session again two days in a row no clouds absolutely none gives it a mean clean and it also will flavor the grates all nice and clean We'll lift the hatch I've got a whole lot of kumis here boiled up and I'm just chucking them around the heat try him on far away from the heat just like that that's all right here's a quick little squiz we have all our kumis manuka Scragglers in the front, power basket in the back, and we have a uh, elephant leg just waiting to be cooked up. Lid goes on, vent halfway closed, bottom vent halfway closed, low and slow today. And that's seriously it, it's really that simple. It's a mean day today, it's super hot, and here's where I'm gonna be hanging out. Got my chair, got my flat screen TV, I'm ready. Bottom vent, three quarters of the way closed. So we're gonna do this around 130 Celsius and I'll only check on this in about like 45 minutes say eh? Until then it's time to chill out. Let's have a look Coke test One of the picanha looks that feels pretty valid eh? This fat piece still has a decent amount of time and This piece right here I'm not sure if you can see it, but here's the segment right here. I'm gonna be removing this segment and I'll remove the picanha too. And you could be thinking like, bro, Matt, why don't you just remove it at the start? Bro, sometimes I want to try different things. I want to see and experiment and do all of that good stuff. Just got to play doctor now. So we have the picanha. That is so hot. Got that little bit right there. Those are cooked. This big piece, still yet to be cooked. I might actually give it a flip so you can see all of this I didn't really cut into the actual meat or the flesh it had its protective was it connective tissue attaching it so here's a little segment right here that's the only part that's kind of open so I'm just gonna give that a sear seal up the wound doctor here you go let me seal it up, seal it up. Okay, after a bit of operation, sear it up. Put that down. Next addition is some sausages. We're gonna give these a slow smoke. 
Just make a little lay. Show that guy back on. The little one gets a little bit. The picanha gets a decent amount. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I'll give this a sear just because. Or will I give it a sear? Will I give it a sear? What are my inner demons telling me? I'll give it a quick sear now. These coals aren't super hot because I'm doing everything low and slow. So it shouldn't really burn the spices and herbs going on with that blackout seasoning. We got that wood fire steak, buddy. And the main thing always, guys, is to cook your steak to however you like it. And I'm adding butter just to up the richness, up the beefiness, up the deliciousness. Yeah, some good feedback. We can get away with just giving this guy a sear right now, eh? And that will bring him up to temp. Ideally, we could have gone for like a, a rare. Not blue, I've already I've already had blue maybe like late last week. Chug a little bit of butter on that and really get that all over the piece of meat. Eh? I'm super happy with how everything turned out. You can see the colour on those snags. Everything is just valid, bro. And so the best part about doing steak on the charcoal, it's always going to result just in a tender piece of meat. And bro, you can just keep letting it rest for however long that you need. Like, there's no set time. There's only a minimum of how long you need to rest it for. Everything else, bro, it's like if you're going to eat this in the next two hours, it's still gonna be super good, even if you heat it up. I think that's one of my favorite parts about cooking the steak on the charcoal way. We're gonna get straight into the money, all right? The steak has had more than enough time to rest, and yell at the screen how you think this is cooked. Oh, if you said perfect, you're completely correct. Look at that. Is that just not a work of art? Is that just not money? every single damn time i wonder if you guys are used to it by now or what that's cash there's two separate segments we doesn't want to pull away from here here's one we'll do one at a time oh, i just spoiled it for myself that's all right that's against the grain Again, another f***ing perfection. Some more perfection. And what about last one? Split this guy in half. Let's see how we done. Oh, smells like success. I'm absolutely beyond stoked with how that steak came out. Oh, like next level. I've got some chimichurri to pair with it because delicious why not and for the taste test guys i just want to show you again like that's perfect that's absolute perfection i've cut the picanha in half just to make it a little bit easier to deal with smoky delicious and this is for this bite is for all the people that haven't counted me out Everyone that continues to support my content, you guys have unlimited love from this guy right here. That's too good. Here's some chimichurri on this one with some fat. Oh, it's so good and it just cuts through it, smashes it. It's so beautiful and so beautifully cooked. It's just like a happy dance. That's what my taste buds are doing. Let's try another piece 
or another Sigmund rather. Just to show you guys, I ain't bullshit, man. They're so juicy. It's so delicious. So smoky. So tender. With the chimichurri. As a party. I made some smoked sausages too. Caveman style. Yum. With some chimichurri. Yum. That's so good. Some kumara. This is the carb bringing everything together. That's literally zero added. That's just kumara wrapped up in foil. Oh my god. I don't know what it is about it, but kumara around coals and just cooked with charcoal, it's like crack. Kumara, you add butter to that, salt, pepper. There's a chimichurri. It's so f***ing good. Ah, Kumara, bro. Shout out to Kumara. Not shout out to Kumara when it's $15 a kg, though. Kumara, chimichurri, steak, little sandwich. You got a whole lot of texture, a whole lot of flavor, smoky, sweet from the kumara, zesty from the chimichurri, meaty from the rum, and this is the perfect time to leave all of you right there. Thank you so much for watching the entirety of the content, it truly helps me a lot. If you want to continue to support and help me even further, give it a like, comment down below, anything that you want to see me cook up and share it to all of your friends, all right? Peace, love. I'll see you all on the next one.